if you need any Xbox or PlayStation codes or any cheap PC games, use the referral link in the description. It will take you over to G2A.com. They already have a discount on most of their goods. And if you use the code CHEZ at checkout, you can get yourself an extra 3% off as well. Hey guys, how's it going? Chez back again and welcome to episode number 26 of season number 2 here at Derby County in the My Player series. In the last episode you guys were voting and it was very one-sided in fact, 65% to 35% in favour of leaving Derby in this transfer window and moving elsewhere. If you were uh, not able to watch the previous episode or you haven't seen any of season number 1, then uh, we were uh, at Derby County in the Championship, very heavily involved throughout the season, grew by 11 ratings and were heavily involved in us winning the league title in the Championship. We got Team of the Week five times, we were Player of the Month, we weren't Player of the Year, but we were able, as you can see there, through 42 appearances in all competitions, get 30 wins, 9 draws, 3 defeats, 14 goals and 24 assists. I believe 22 of those were in the... Uh, championship so uh, phenomenal season for us in uh, in that year and hopefully we will push on from there and get ourselves a move to uh, an improved club I need to ask the manager I think I think I've already actually asked the manager to go on the transfer list I have uh, Burnley, Sassuolo and Villarreal are showing interest in me right now as always, whenever I get a transfer offer in for me, I will put it to you guys to vote. So if there is a vote in the description with regard to potential move, if something happens further down the line whilst recording this episode, please do watch the full video first before making your vote decision. Because what I'll do, if I get a an offer in, I'll save the game there. I'll then accept the offer so we can see the scenario at said potential new club with regards first team opposition the formation they play whether we seem like we're going to get a lot of first team football or not so uh, you can make a full educated decision as to whether that's the right move for us in this my player series if no moves come up that uh, you think i should take or no moves appeal to me then we'll stay here at derby until january and look to move on in that window instead but we are in the barclays premier league now here with derby county so uh, we are playing at the top end of english football Obviously not at the top end of European football just yet, but after just the one season, that's not to be expected. We grew very well in the first year. I've changed my hair, my boots, and my celebration. I've also changed uh, the appearance of my guy as well, untucking his shirt and switching it to uh, the tight parameters. So uh, appearance def I'll start again. our appearance definitely looks different to how it did at the end of season one. And hopefully we can have a good year here at season in season two, regardless of what club we end up playing for. Out of curiosity, for those of you that uh, weren't, for those of you that were asking in the comment section of the previous episode, sorry, uh, England got to the final of Euro 2016, but were destroyed by Germany in that final by four goals to nil. They had previously brushed past Turkey in the semis and Spain both by uh, two goals to one, and got through the group stage after losing to Germany, uh, beating Portugal and beating Wales as well. So that's how Euro 2016 went down for England. But uh, for now, let's jump into this first game against Viacano. Obviously, in the My Player series, or any My Player series, uh, each and every game is important with regards training and, uh, and of course, any accomplishments we could get throughout any of the preseason games. So we could end up being 78 or 79 rated by the end of this preseason tournament, should we be able to get a little bit further through the tournament than just the group stage, which would mean, of course, we'd be uh, more appealing to larger clubs. So... We will be playing each game in pre-season and uh, as you can see we're going to start with a game against Viacano and we'll follow that up with a game against Genoa in today's episode. So uh, if you enjoy make sure you drop the video a like rating, subscribe to the channel too to ensure you don't miss out on any further videos. But without any further ado I've laid out the, the way we're going to do things here in season number two and we'll jump into the game against Viacano. Johnson. I'm going to make the run through this gap and he's going to play it into my stride very nicely. Now we do have four star skill moves and we'll try to utilise them here and we'll give this to Connor Salmon who doesn't give us a 1-0 lead but the ball, ah, my guy decided not to take a first touch. The ball nearly dropped back to me there and we almost took a 1-0 lead thanks to that shot from Connor Salmon. Ah, oh, Vyman tried to turn it around the corner looking for Salmon again. But unfortunately for him, he uh, tripped over the defender I think and wasn't able to get there. Positive start here though from Derby County trying to get a win in this first game of the group stage. Bradley Johnson back to George Thorne again through the gap to me. Buffarini is arriving on the outside. 
Oh, fuck it, I'll go down the line then. Oh, he's going to go down the line. All right, well, I'll come back here and support, and he will use me, and we'll look to find Connor Salmon at the back post. I think it gone offside again. The header was down. No, he wasn't offside. Header on target, close to another assist then for us here in the opening 20 minutes. Nice first touch from Buffarini. I'll give it back to him. Can he deliver a ball into the box that is going to cause Vallecano some problems? Yes, he can. On the volley, Mers. Wow, George Thorn. That didn't need a touch from Mario Gomez. It's going to be a corner to us. George Thorn's volley was pretty poor, but I'm going to pull this back to the man on the edge of the box, and hopefully he'll take a shot. It's Jacob Butterfield. His touch wasn't that good. Here's Andy Vyman. He's going to dink it into the middle, and Mario Gomez, the man that gifted us the corner, is going to get it away properly this time. Buffarini into Connor Salmon. Back to Johnson, to Salmon again, into the box, and again, over the bar. This was why you weren't played last season, Connor. You're turning out to be a little bit shit. Keeney into Miku. Nice turn. The Viacano going to get themselves an opportunity. Baina, oh, it's a lovely ball inside between me and the fullback. Nacho gets across and it's deflected. It's going to end, oh, with a great save from Roos, the goalkeeper. I don't know who Roos is. But uh, I don't know whether he's a new player or a youngster we had in the squad from last year. But it's a great save there. Reaction save from the header from the uh, striker from Vira. I've almost called him Villarreal from Viacano. I don't have the strength there to hold the man off. I didn't have any other options because Conor Salmon just disappeared to the right-hand side of the pitch. But we had all the chances in the first half. But the first chance of the second half goes Viacano's way. Got a throw. Oh, he's throwing it to me. Okay. Well, we'll try and spin the defender, which we've done well. I need someone in the box to aim for, though. We'll look for Connor Salmon. It's oh, Andy Vyman that volleys it, but it was a rather wild volley. Reminds me of the volley that we had in the last episode that was pretty wasteful. Although, to be fair, he was under a lot more pressure than I was in that last game against MK Dons. Nil-nil after an hour. Johnson gets it to me. Just about keep it under control. Give it to Chris Martin. There may be one final... No, there's not one final chance before the game ends. It's going to be a nil-nil draw in the uh, Borussia Dortmund Stadium. Is it the Westfalen Stadion? It's not called that anymore, is it? It's Signal Iduna Park. And so uh, this tournament clearly being held in Germany. But we get a nil-nil draw against a Spanish side. 100, short... oh, 100 chances created. So uh, short passing has gone up one. Well, that'll help. But not really the most... Uh, clear cut of chances in any of those opportunities really a lot of them were just hit well high and wide from both sides so we'll see if the manager will put me on the transfer list and then we'll play the second game against Genoa he's turned down my request so as per usual you have to normally go through this kind of rigmarole at least once if not twice during the uh, the tour during pre-season or whenever you're in a window you want to ask to go on the on the transfer list a lot of the time you have to ask multiple times. Info interest being shown now by Schalke as well in Germany. I'd definitely be interested in a move to Schalke, to be completely honest. And he's going to... Oh, he's going to get back to me shortly. OK, well, let's go and play Genoa. And then once we get back from that, we can train again. And we'll uh, see if we actually get put on the transfer list and if any offers come in before the game against Empoli. Olsen into thought to Connor Salmon going to find me I see the run being made and it's a beautiful through ball if I do say so myself but Jeff Hendrick can't find the target running theme of today's episode man shoots man misses Buffarini inside to me look at there looking for Jeff Hendrick this time hits the target but good save by Zima very good shot actually by Hendrick to be fair we're taking the corner do I pull it back to the man on the edge again no, he's kind of drifted away. All right, we'll throw it into the box, into the mixer, and see what happens. What happens is Panagiotis wins the initial header. Byman wins the second, and George Thorne, well, back to Old Faithful. Man shoots. Shoots wide. Connor Salmon to me. Whoop. No, you don't, my man. Oh, completely broken his ankles. That was very nice. Do I shoot or lay it off? I'm going to shoot because I'm greedy. Oh, I should have I should have passed it. Man shoots. Chess shoots. Shoots wide. Pavoletti down the right-hand side for Genoa. It's a deep cross. It will find a teammate, though, and Rincon could pass inside, and Panagiotis lays it back to Rincon again, and it's over the bar by a considerable margin. I don't know what's going on, but it, you can definitely tell it's pre-season. Everybody seems to be very rusty so far in this, uh, this pre-season tournament. Gakpo brings it down beautifully and shoots. Cool, I tell you what, needed saving at the near post. So much power behind that shot. Really good effort from Gakpo. Was it on target? It may have just hit the post and gone wide, but it needed dealing with from the keeper. He couldn't be sure. Was he at him at such pace? 
good clearance by Navarro though, but should be kept in by Diego Capel and is. And Navarro gets there for a second time and then Bent flicks it on. Take this row quickly and get it down the line to Buffarini. He's played it inside to George Shaw and there's space in the middle for the man. The man is Butterfield. Could pass it, could shoot, gives it to Will Hughes who oh, very nearly whips it in the far top corner with one of the last chances of the game. Great effort. I was a bit too too central. If it had been able to get it towards that far corner rather than the middle of the goal, it may have had enough you know, flight time to dip a little bit and get underneath the bar. Worth an effort, though, from distance. One of the better chances we've had in this game. It's been a pretty slow uh, start to Season 2 with regards to these two friendlies, but two clean sheets and two draws, and we've avoided defeat. I didn't play particularly well in that one. We were uh, definitely better in the first game, personally. But... Uh, Empoli lose to Viacano. So Viacano are now on four. We're on two. I don't know what the score was between Empoli and Genoa. So we'll have a quick look at the group to see what the situation is. They drew. So we're on two. Genoa are on two. Empoli on one. And uh, Viacano sat top of the group now on uh, on four. We'll quickly train. Again, I'm only going to be training my set pieces, my uh, penalties and free kicks, as the rest of the uh, tributes we want to be growing in-game so that we... Don't, you know, grow too fast. We'll only advance one day, but no word yet from the manager. Have you put me on the transfer list? Please tell me you have. You decided to turn down my request. Okay, fine. Never mind. I'll do it again. We'll request to go onto the transfer list. Now, Hertha Berlin are interested in me as well as Schalke, Villarreal, presumably still Sassuolo and Burnley as well. So, we might be heavily sought after. I don't know as the club's made any transfers. Let's have a look. Uh, I could go for a hefty fee, apparently. That's linking me to... Uh, Hertha Berlin. Uh, no news of no news of incoming transfers. Let's have a look on transfer news. Besiktas have accepted an offer from for Ozukup from Valencia. Ryan Gould has gone to QPR. Socrates has gone to Arsenal. Uh, Enyema might be going to Sampdoria. I doubt that would happen. And again, linking me with Hertha Berlin. Uh, I, it could be a number of different sides that come in for us, but. Uh, Ch Chelsea have actually brought in Imeric Laporte as well, actually. It's a transfer that you might not have seen so far in... The, well, you won't have seen because I didn't show you. <laughs> that makes sense. But uh, yes, th that's where we'll leave it for now. I've requested to go on the transfer list again. If we don't make it through the group stage, then we will obviously start the Barclays Premier League season in the next episode with a game against Norwich. That's going to be all for today's episode of My Player. Thank you very much for watching. Drop the video a like if you enjoyed. Subscribe to the channel too if you haven't to this point. And I'll see you next time.